the one-handed so stop. Today, so today, I'm going, going to be sharing with was wide open. He got lost you guys um, who are my top five Here's uh, best power forwards in the league right now. Now, starting off with an honorable mention, I just want to... It is Paul Millsap. Millsap. He is a great player. He is now on the Nuggets. And he is our honorable mention. And he, he is our one and only honorable mention. And I think he is a great player, though. So now we will be moving on to number five. Now, at number five, we have Kristoff Porzingis, a.k.a. Kristoff Porzingis, a.k.a. The Unicorn. Now, he is a great player, a um, great young rookie. He's only been in the season for two years. Uh, Runner-up for rookie of the year last year. And I will be getting into his stats. He averages 18.1 points a game. Um, gets two blocks a game, 0.7 steals, snags 7.2 rebounds a game, shoots 78.6% from the free throw, shoots 35.7% from the three-point line, shoots 45% from the field, and lastly, it's 1.5 assists per game. I definitely think he is a great player, and will definitely, I think he might be in the MVP race in about four to five years, five years at most. Now we will be getting in the, um, our number four spot. So at number four we have Kevin Love. Um, he is a he is a power forward for the Cavaliers. I'm pretty sure everybody knows that. He is a great player. Um, I, in my opinion, I think he is a little underrated. Um, I think he does a lot for that team. I mean, not like LeBron, but like I think he does. You know, he is really valued by the team. Now. He averaged, um, he averaged 19 points a game, 0.4 blocks, 0.9 steals, 1.9 assists, snagged 11.1 rebounds, um, shot 87.1% from the free throw, shot 42.7% from the field, from the field, and shot 37.3% from the three point line. Now. I think he is, is a really good player still, and like I said, I think he is a little underrated. And now we will be moving on to number three. Now, at number three, we have Draymond Green. Um, some of you, I might begin a lot of on this video because I have Draymond Green at number three. I was thinking about putting him at number two, but that was a really tough choice, and he is only... Uh, a little bit behind the guy at number two. He is a great player. He performs in the finals. He's an emotional player, really an emotional player, a great leader. He plays with such so, so heart. And he averaged this season. The stats might not be great, but at the same time, he had to play with KD. And last season, you know, he dropped four points. From last season, from because KD is on the team now. Now he averaged 10.2 points per game. And there have been more defensive mistakes. Got 1.5 blocks per game. Last two games. And if you don't know, he is, a de he is the defensive player of the year. Two. Um, got two steals per game, no, seven assists, eight rebounds, shot 71% from the free throw. Um, shot 31.4% from the three-point line so many big games. and shot 42% from the field. Now, he is a great player. Um, shooting is a little low. It went down this year, but he's still a great player. Like I said, a great leader. He's very emotional, and he plays with really a, a lot of heart. And last, last year in the 2015-2016 finals, he dropped 35 points, I mean 32 points, 15 rebounds, and two steals. If you guys don't believe me, oh, and he shot 11 of 15. If you guys don't believe me, then I will show you what I'm talking about. See so guys, if you look right here, it says Sunday 6-19. The Warriors lost 93-89. to He shot, he played 47 minutes. 
that's a lot. I'm surprised he didn't get tired. Um, and then he shot 11 of 15. That is seven, 73 percent shot. 75 percent from the three-point line. Shot four of four from the free throw, and got 15 rebounds, nine assists, and two steals with 32 points. He all played Curry. He all played Clay. He all played everybody except LeBron. And maybe even Kyrie in that game. No, I think he did a little, He did better than Kyrie because of all of these stats. But see, guys, see what I'm talking about? He is a great player. Seven. Draymond Perfect. Green is a guy who performs in big games. Um, he's pretty clutch. Well, kind of clutch. Um, but, you know, he performs five in five. on the biggest show, right, of, the, the biggest stuff. stage. Jay and... Um, Okay, guys, now we will be getting into number two. At our number two, we have... At our number two, we have Blake Griffin. Um, like I said, I think he is only a tiny bit better than Draymond. Um, I, I can make an argument that Draymond is better, but... I, I think Blake is just barely better than Draymond, so... Yeah, so now we will be getting into his stats. He averaged 21.6 points a game, got 24 blocks a game, a steal a game, got 5 assists a game, got 8 rebounds a game, shot 76% from the free throw, shot 33% from the three-point line, and shot 49.3 from the field. Now, he is a pretty good player. Um... Like his one up. outside, his outside well, shooting can improve a tiny bit, um, but he has improved over the years with his three-point shot. He has really improved, um, and I think he's a really good player. Um, he is in, at our number two, and now we will be getting into number one. Our number one is, of course, Anthony Davis, a.k.a. A.D. Um, a.k.a. The Brow. He's a great player. You know, it's pretty obvious that he's number one, just like James Harden in the shooting guard position. And um, he's just a really great player. In my opinion, a top five, top five, top six player in the league right now. And the best player in the power forward position. Now, he averages 28 points a game. Shot 50% from the field, shot 30% from the three, got 12 rebounds a game, 7.1 assists per game, 1.3 steals a game, and 2.2 blocks a game. Now, um, this is it, guys. Um, nothing, nothing else to say about Anthony Davis. Um, he's a great player. Um, Tomorrow I will be uploading a, this is going to be the last of the series, but a top five center in the league right now, and um, before the season starts, I will also be doing a top five list of every position, and then yeah, so tell me guys, tell me if you agree with me, and tell me if you think should be higher, who you think should be lower, and tell me your um, opinion, like your top five power forwards in the comments below. Okay, I'm out.